What up, what up, Scorpio? This is your monthly October reading. So, Scorpio, I hope you guys have been doing all right. Let me get my myself together, Scorpio, with all these. You know how we do this. We're going to do the bones and the charms first, and we're going to go in with a little tarot and then some advice. And we're going to do self-care cards, too, this month. What do we need to focus on? This month for our self-care. If I can get all these in my hand, I just did this with Libra, so I know I can get them all. Let's see, Scorpio, Scorpio. I know y'all ready for these for these Libras to move out the way, huh? I've been hearing about it. Like we literally just pulled up, and y'all already like move on for the Scorpios. All right, Scorpio, 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 spirit. October. What do we have? Scorpio. All righty. Let's see. All right. So some of you definitely have a money opportunity coming in. Could have to do with a man, but we have a new job coming in. Spirit of sin. Um, that they're sending something. Some of you may have already um got some good news. The purse is upright, which means that this job is going to pay some good money. I do see that you're going to need to be flexible with it. May entail a lot of talking because we have um, the Eight of Cups. This could be teaching people education. Um, this also is saying be flexible with education. So some of you could be working in education. You could be a teacher. You may be taking some classes. There may be some um, certifications or something that you need to get. I am seeing um, it crosses over into health so this job could be something that has to deal with health could be education educating people about their health um we have a face here it could be mental health joker card could definitely be somebody that is um struggling with some mental stuff some of you i don't know um could be a consultant for a hospital this could be a psychologist or a, a psychiatrist um, or it could just be education. Either way it goes, watch your, your energy because we have the skeleton hand there and this is somebody that's trying to take from you. So if you are working in the, in the health field or you are helping people, um, be careful that you set boundaries and that you don't give too much of yourself because I see sickness coming in. We have bullet casing, doctor bag. Some of you may be catching something. You don't even know what it is. Um, so watch your health. Uh, I do feel like there's some clarity that's going to come in. If you've been sick for a while and you didn't know what it was, I feel like that there is going to be some type of, the, the key is there, and it looks like there's going to be some type of discovery. So if you've been having some type of issues and it's like, I don't know, because we do have the bullet casing on the doctor bag and we have a question mark. It looks like there's something that's going to be seen or found out now. I am getting some issues, claw with a spiritual thing. This could be a spiritual group, spiritual house, spiritual um, family. It's in your family sector, which some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that is um, causing some type of conflict or you just feel like there's conflict around. I don't see a lot of energy around it. So this could be something that's going to be passing for you. Uh, coffin nail is there. I feel like that you may be talking to a female we have the uh, badge. There could be a mediator that's coming in. We have the double head. So I feel like that there's two people that are trying to talk, um, but there is the double head on one side, and then we have another person, and then we have like the badge. Could be some type of legal situation that you're going to deal with with a family, or this could literally be that you are using some type of mediation, or maybe this is you mediating something in the family. I do see some travel coming in. This could be for work or for a job for you guys. So it looks like something is going to open up. There may be some issue with even you being able to travel. Somebody may not want you to. I see you defending yourself with something that you're trying to do. There's a major change that's coming in. I feel for some of you, this could be career change. Um, your manifestations are there, but they're upside down. So it could be that you're trying to push something through. But I am getting having to defend yourself. Now, trickster energy is there and what's under them. Chicken foot, being protected. Some of you be careful of uh, a male energy that's coming back in. 
and this person is tricky. Chicken foot though is on top of you. You're defending yourself. This person could be coming back in too. If you broke up with this person or had it a falling out, if this was a friend, I'm sorry, I'm coming back in. Let's fix this. You know, I miss you or whatever. And we got past person coming back, but we got them crossing, you know, the bad spell work. Whoever this person is, they probably need to stay in the past, Scorpio. I'm going to just be honest with it. I think they're full of shit. I think either they're trying to manifest a new beginning with you, whatever it is, it looks like it's weak. And this person may be coming in because they need money or they need some type of help. Now, good luck sector, your money is upside down. And we got demon hit there, which means somebody is really trying to work against your money. Nine of Pentacles, messages coming in with self-employment, though. I get some type of talk or, ch or, or chatter with the chicken foot. And then we see something coming over here with communication. So I think some of you might be opening something up where there's a lot of talk or communication. But I will say with the demon head and more money turned upside down, and then your cowrie shell turned upside down, somebody is trying to affect your money, trickster energy. Be careful of who you sign on with. You have money coming in. Crown is not all the way upright. Definitely you're being protected. But you could be dealing with somebody that, one, is either playing you for money or they're interfering with your money. And with trickster energy, we definitely have somebody who's playing games. They're not the best person. Somebody's trying to stop a new beginning for you. I don't know what's going on, but it looks like somebody is trying to move you away. Could be trying to hot foot you from something. If this is a job, I feel like that, especially with the hater, the evil eye, it's not strong, though. But somebody could be trying to make your environment really, um, uh, I don't want to say unbearable, but for some of you, it could be unbearable. But I, I feel like we got joker, we have joker, joker, we got joker or jokester energy that's crossing over into, um, bad spell work to help. I think some of y'all are dealing with somebody that is not playing with a full deck. Or either they're trying to really irritate you or stress you out so that you feel like you're not playing with a full deck. And you might need to take a step back. Whatever is going on, spirit is bringing in your foundation. Now, it's upside down, which means it's delays on top of it. But I do get a transformation of a situation. We have a lot of spirit talk, a lot of protection that looks like it's coming in. And they're telling you to walk away from something. If you're pouring energy into something and it's not working, walk away from it. And you're seeing it clearly. You could be dealing with fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Some of you are going to have some conflict with a woman or have had some conflict with a woman. I see you walking away. There is something coming in new with love. This could be a new relationship, giving birth to something that you love. Could definitely be a pregnancy. Could also be a project that you're working on. I am seeing um, we got blocked opportunities again. Now you got money coming in. Let's see. We got friend, female, maybe helping you out. Let's see these cards underneath. Nine of Pentacles. Is that ten of Pentacles? Oh, that's good. Your foundation is Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Diamonds. Success with money. There may be a little stress on top of it. Three of Cups on top of Evil Eye. Three people that are trying to hold you back. Going in bad spell work sector. Um, and some of you are going to have a problem with somebody that you broke up with. Could be this person that maybe is coming back and you telling them, I don't want to take you back. Um, the energy coming from this person is not good. And that makes sense because they could be tricking you over here like, oh, I'm, I've changed, I've healed, I've missed you, I want to reconnect with you. But if you tell them no, they turn real nasty and ugly because the heart the, health, uh, the heart is upside down. Three of Cups is definitely showing that you have three people that just are not feeling you. They're not feeling you. You have a lot of interference with somebody trying to mess with your foundation, but your foundation looks like it's set. But you got a lot of stuff that's going around. And I think some of y'all need a cleanse to kind of get rid of some of this energy. Some of y'all are definitely people from the past. Leave them, Let them stay in the past. Let them stay. I'm getting um, a lack of conversation with some people. So you could be cutting some conversation off with people. Let's see what these cards are. 
could be a water sign. That may be you, though. What's going on with this water sign? Somebody feeling like they need to pull away so that they can focus on their money. So I think some of y'all definitely are walking away from some of this chaos. Like, look, I don't have time to do this. New job is coming in. Purses in the upright. There's some opportunity for travel that's going to be coming in for some of you. Some of your water spirit is definitely walking with you strong when it comes to your money. Spirit messages are around you. They're telling you, though, to be flexible. Be patient. Something that you want is coming, but I feel like with all this opposition, it's causing it to move a little bit slower because it looks like that you're putting out a little bit of fires just to get to take a, a step ahead. Like, I got to get this out the way so I can step ahead. Then I got to come over here and get this out the way so I can do a step ahead. So this hip thing is maneuvering and it's in your money. Money coming in could be a mail that helps you out. Could be a mail that gives you a job, talks to you about a job. Um, I do see some help from a female. We have an angel or an ancestor on the other side. Could be female, female that's trying to help you, but you definitely have an ancestor that's trying to help maneuver some things. Um, if there is a fine or some type of thing legally that needs to be dealt with, make sure that you deal with it. Because I get a lack of communication. Kind of like I don't want to talk about it. This could be a creditor. I don't have the money, so I don't want to answer the phone. But maybe you need to answer the phone and, and make some type of arrangements before this gets uh, more. I am seeing some big changes coming in the next five months for y'all. And they seem to be positive because there's forward movement. Um relocation is coming in and i think the question mark on the house could be where am i going what's opening up for me but you have somebody who's trying to block this this could be also making sure that your paperwork is uh top notch could be also too with this legal thing over here that maybe in the center family sector maybe somebody is trying to move forward or get a new house but maybe their credit or something on their on their paperwork is stopping them i don't necessarily think it's the money Money is not really where you want it to be, but you got money coming in. You got a lot of negative energy in your luck sector. So I would say do a spiritual cleanse, say some prayers, go to the beach, submerge yourself in the water. If you live near the water, ask the spirits to cleanse you of any attachments or anything holding you back. If not, get with a priest or priestess in your area for a spiritual bath, because it looks like some of you may need it just to clear this energy. Clean your house. Some of y'all, y'all living in, I, I get chaos. There may be too much stuff. And trust me, I feel you on this right now. I'm trying to throw stuff away. Some of you definitely got money coming in in a health field. So if you're a nurse, doctor, um, dental assistant, anything in the medical field, medical field may be opening something major for you. With the lucky mojo hand and the sun there. And then we have the key, new beginnings. Um, watch your back. Um, I feel like there could be some pains or something coming in, especially in your lower back or upper shoulders. I feel like there's going to be some issue coming in with that. Um, you might be getting massages or going to a chiropractor. I feel like this month is going to be a lot of talking and maneuvering. There's definitely a new job that's coming in. So if you've been looking, it looks like it brings in some stability. But be flexible. Watch your stress levels. You have success on top of you. But be really careful. And it's not so much the work, it's the people that you're going to have to watch yourself with. You got some people that are stressing you out. And it looks like it's up to three people. I'm not really worried about this group over here because whatever this is, it looks like that they're losing their power. But you did have a group over here that looks like they were trying to cause problems, but it's the, it, it, it doesn't look like it's working. And I think that there's a branch off. And the person who originally started may be trying to get a whole nother group together, but I just don't I just don't see it. But they are trying to stress you out. And you know who this person is. You see them. So I don't think they're going to blindside you because I think you already know this is a person that I got to kind of watch out for. Definitely, though, you got somebody over here trying to steal your luck, trying to take something away from you. Could be doing it magically, spiritually, or this could be somebody that just every time something good happens for you, they pop up in your life and they're interference. So watch the people that you let in around you. Watch getting in between stuff or with people, especially in organizations, in the workplace, in spiritual houses, because there's a devil head. Somebody is not trying to be right. They're not trying to do the right thing, and they're trying to invo involve you in it. And it looks like that uh, there's a mediation that is coming in. You're protected with this. 
but you're dealing with somebody they're upside down with a blossom oh i gotta sneak <coughs> oh excuse me i didn't mean to do that in your mic in your ear somebody is not blossoming the way that they want to this could be i don't want you to grow because i'm not growing i don't know but pay attention to the advice and the conversations that you get because i feel like that this person is trying to manipulate and they're trying to do it because it, they're either trying to keep you where they're at or they don't want to see you grow. But I get a lot of talk and it's not right. Something's not right with a Scorpio. Trust your intuition. You got messages coming in. I do see some transformation. Some of y'all are going to be getting a little bit healthier. This could be working out, eating a little bit better. Be careful for sickness because it looks like that there is a sickness that's coming in. Some of y'all may not know what it is. I don't know what variant we are on this COVID could be some new the flu and COVID might have a baby or something this winter i don't know but it looks like it's something nasty that's coming in take your vitamins and keep yourself together all right scorpio 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 spirit these cards right there we go scorpio any guidance, anything they need to hear. All right, let's look. Page of Cups, we have being very sensitive, um, refusing good advice. Could be two Page of Cups, could be messages that are coming in. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody. I get an immature energy. Whether this person is a water sign um, or this is your energy. This is uh, dealing with an immature energy not trusting intuition, maybe some emotions that are clouding judgment. Also could be dealing with a younger water sign that is just really, um, they're oversensitive and they don't know how to control their emotions. Could be a child, but this could also be your energy. Five of Pentacles, poverty, hardship. Um, this may be that something, the money is, is looking funny and it's, could, it could be triggering you. If you have a child, it could be that I need money. I don't have the money to take care of what I need to and it could be making you feel some kind of way. Um, let's see if it's going to move forward. Eight of swords in reverse, release, moving forward, renewed initiative. Some of you, if this is what the, was the beginning of the school year, um, I don't know. This could be you as a younger person. I don't have the money. I'm stressed out. School is about to start. I need to figure out how I'm going to make this happen. Um, but the money is not there. This could be applying for some type of financial assistance. If you have a child or you're a single mother or a single father, you may have been worried about that. But then we get a release. I know what I need to do. Clarity coming in, moving forward. Four of Swords, confronting obstacles. Um, it may not be an easy push, but for some of y'all, if this is dealing with something where there's a younger person or you're trying to get some type of schooling for yourself, it looks like that you are going to get it, but there may be some paperwork, there may be some financial aid stuff, there may be some things that you need to go through before you get where you need to be. Three of Cups, though, we have celebrations, connecting with the right people. If this is trying to move forward, like get a house or something like that, I feel like that there's worry about money. I feel like that there's some type of mental clarity that's coming in, but it's moving slow. Swords card, the Four of Swords is literally confronting obstacles. And that's why I said some of y'all are putting out little fires just to take a step. And that's exactly what this energy is. I got to put the fire out in this section so I can move forward. Then there's a fire here I got to put out so I can move forward. But we have celebrations coming out of that. I also feel, too, with the lover's card, this could be a decision about what you need to do. This is harmony, finding harmony, making the right choices. For some of you, this could be a love opportunity coming in. Could be that person from the past. But for a few of you, I think that this is celebrations because it looks like there's a good decision that is made. And then we have better communication. We had issues with communication over here, obstacles, things moving slow, celebrations, things are starting to pick up. I made some good choices or I made the right choices. Star card, hope, guidance, relief, harmony. So we got three cards, well, two cards that are saying coming back into harmony. 
So you started off rough. And I think some of y'all, this hasn't been a good year. I think for some of y'all, you've had a lot going on. You've had opposition from people around you. The energy seems to be kind of fighting against you in some parts. But it looks like that there's new renewed hope. Harmony is coming in. We got it three times. Celebration, success. We have a message that's coming in, page of wands. And then we have the eight of pentacles. And this is job, education, making money, following some type of progress, creativity coming in, working with people. Somebody sent you a message. We want to work with you. Queen of Swords, independent, focused on what she needs to do. Could be an air sign person that helped you out, but this also could be your energy. I'm coming out of an energy of feeling like things are heavy, no money there, clarification comes in, there's some type of communication that opens up. I was making some wrong decisions or bad decisions, or I felt like I was, and now I'm over here making better decisions. Star card to me is always the ancestors, and then we have guidance coming in, relief. So somebody is looking out for you. All right, be careful of scattered energy, though. Some of you, there's money coming in, but you need to know how to manage the money. Could be, too, that you're juggling money. Like, maybe you've been behind. You got a job coming in. You got something that opens up. But it's like, I can't. Um, I got to pay these bills. You know, it's almost like winning the lottery. And you're like, yeah, I won, you know, a million dollars. But you had a million dollars in debt. So it's like, damn, I got to juggle this money to make it um, to make it do what it do. I think this is a temporary energy, though. It could be that there's money coming in, but it's like I'm juggling. And it's, you know, it's scattered energy. What do I pay first? What do I take care of first? Then we have solitude, the hermit card, solitude, soul searching, being alone, listening to guidance, pulling back, focusing on what you need to do. Queen of Wands in the upright leadership. This could be dealing with a fire energy or this could be you taking time to take a step back, come back in a little bit harder. Business woman, action, creativity, resourceful, standing on her own. Let's see. We have a battle of wills here. Victory. Moving towards success, but still feeling like you're pushing against somebody. Now, we, we do have definitely some, some jealousy. We got evil eye energy coming in. Some of you made a decision maybe to pull away from it. I'm getting a job. I'm going to focus on this money. I'm not going to deal with these people. Um, because I was over here struggling for a little bit. Things are finally starting to go good for me. And then we get this scattered energy. Somebody could be trying to pull you back. You know, what is that? You got out the gang and now they trying, they won't let you go. They're trying to pull you back in. Leadership opportunities are there for you. Hermit is like, I need to figure out what I need to do. And then we have the nine of wands, discretion, defending yourself, battling, um, you know, people, negative energy for victory. Some of y'all, you're going to be fighting to the end of this year, unfortunately, because you have some people that are just fixated on you, but it looks like no matter what it is, victory is on top of you, ten of swords in the reverse. Relief, fatigue, the worst has passed, having um, doubts, but liberation, victory. Whoever you're battling, whoever was trying to hold you back, by the time you move into 2024, you're done with that energy you come into a strong power you start off very emotional uh poverty worried about money there's this mental clarity is not there there's confronting obstacles and the energy is so slow i guarantee you there's frustration what when is it going to be my turn when is this going to open up for me when am i going to get what i need but you had all this opposition working against you and it probably felt like this year was like walking through quicksand and then we get education, a job, sharing something with people, money coming in, being able to be creative, progress comes in, being independent, trying to stand in your uh, in your in your highest good. Queen of Swords energy is somebody that's straight talking, and I feel like a lot of communication coming in with people. This is teaching or sharing something or taking classes, but I feel like there's a lot of consultation talking to people. But then we get some issues with money because the money is coming in, but I got to pay this past stuff to get myself caught up. Hermit mode is I don't have time for drama. I got to do what I need to do. And then you step into your power. 
Queen of Wands are either connecting with a fire energy, leadership, businesswoman or businessman. Let's get this going. Let's get this, let's move forward. Nine of Wands, defending yourself, battling, will, determination, pushing the opposition out the way. Ten of Swords, taking off that, that, that heaviness off your shoulders. Fatigue is, is, is done. The worst is over. New energy comes in. You are pushing through. You're pushing through. I tell you what, I think this is the, the, the energy is breaking up this year. The energy is breaking up. Some of y'all have learned how to, to navigate it. Some of y'all have got the better hand of these enemies or this evil eye energy. Some of y'all have just figured out what you need to do to move past it. And a few of y'all are just like, I ain't fucking with people. I'm not entertaining them. I'm not focused on them. I'm moving forward. Be careful of immature energy that keeps coming into your path. People that haven't healed, people that haven't grown because you're about to bust out of that energy and you got somebody or some people that want to bring you back over there. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right. Set limits with draining people. When people are depleting you, kindly set limits such as I only have 10 minutes to listen. Um, Self-care is respectful and empowering. Y'all are tired, but y'all came out of a heavy energy. And trust me, I have friends, I give them 15 minutes. After that, I hang up the phone because I got friends that will talk for three hours about the same shit that's been happening since 2000. And I know they need to vent, but it's like you got 15 minutes and they know it. And I hang up because I just can't do it. Be careful of the people, like I said, immature energy that's playing with you. People that keep coming to you for work or keep coming to you for... Um, you know, advice or whatever. And they're, they're just pulling off of you. Energy vampires. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right. Make peace with uncertainty. It may take a while to find clarity about a situation. Be patient. Know that invisible healing forces are at work during this phase. Ancestors. We saw that. We saw you had somebody that was around. I think that you be, because you've been through so much, the patience thing is really working you. And that could be where frustration is coming in. Some of you honor your inner child. You need to play. You need to have some fun. I feel like that there is some energy of being so focused on getting out of that poverty mindset or that poverty situation. Or feeling like whatever is holding you back. Whenever you're dealing with putting out fires just to move forward, it takes the fun out of life. It's like I can't even have fun because I'm constantly battling. I'm constantly fighting. I got to stay three steps ahead. This is saying focus on your inner child's need. Is your inner child afraid? Do they need more playtime? Do you need to get out? Go have a drink somewhere. Go listen to some music. And I know the money thing may be a thing. I don't know about other places, but in Texas, we have like free concerts. Not always the music you want to hear or whatever, but, you know, they're outside. You can pack you a, a, some snacks or whatever and just go out there. Some people be make, smoking hella weed, and you might even get a contact high if you don't even smoke. But places like that, there's a lot of places that you can go for free just to release just to smile, just to laugh. Sometimes even going to a park and watching children play. And don't be creepy about it. But just seeing the, 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 the children be free makes you smile because it connects with your inner child. All right? Release shame. If you've been shamed for being insensitive or anything else, tell yourself I'm ready to release the shame. This is, and I was explaining this to somebody the other day, and this person is a Scorpio, and it's like being... Um, being in a place where you're embarrassed about situations in your life, like I can't pay my car note, that's shameful to me. Or I can't, you know, I'm always behind on my rent, that's shameful to me. Or I can't take care of my child, like we saw in the beginning of that, that's shameful to me. Be, give yourself grace. Give yourself grace. Everybody has been there. Everybody has been there where the money has been funny. You know, um, when I first got a divorce, um, and I wasn't getting child support or anything like that, and I was actually working two jobs about to start a, a third job. I think the dollar store opened up, um, and it was one that had food. And I was like, shit, you know, we're fixing to go in here and shop. And, um, of course, we had name brand grocery stores. I couldn't afford all that shit. So I would go to the dollar store, and I will say, 
the first few months we probably ate so much fucking junk because that's what I could afford until I was like, no, I got to do better for my children. I got it. And I was embarrassed about that. You know, I was embarrassed with having to buy the food there. I was embarrassed about having to deal with, you know, being seen even buying the food there. And then Lord, somebody fucked around and gave me food stamps. And I remember trying to use them, trying to go in the store early in the morning because I was embarrassed that I needed the assistance. And I was shit. I got over that shit real quick. I got over it real quick. I was in survival mode. My kids had to eat. And at that point, I would have did anything to feed my children. But I did have that moment of shame. And I had to really work on releasing it. You're being the best mom that you can that you can be right now. When you have better, you'll do better. So for some of y'all, it's something that you're dealing with that you feel bad about. And you need to let it go. You're doing the best with what you have right now. It's going to get better. We see that. But you've been in a battle. You've been going through some stuff. You didn't have no gold spoon drop through the sky and feed you and drop money in your bank account. You've been through some stuff. If you're watching this, you're a survivor. You're a survivor, Scorpio. And you got better things that are coming. But don't feel embarrassed about surviving. Shit. I wear that shit like a badge of honor. People are like, don't be telling people you have food stamps. Why the fuck not? Why not? Shit, I did have them. I don't have them now. Hell, I wish I did. Food is hella expensive. <laughs> Shit, I ain't got no shame about it now. I pay taxes. You are, That shit is yours. You pay money to be able to use those programs. Don't you feel embarrassed about the stuff that you have to do to survive? You're a survivor. All right, so let's look at self-care, Scorpio. Let's look at self-care. All right, flow like the water. Some of you definitely have a water energy that is walking with you. She loves you. I feel like she's calling you to the water. So if you live close to a beach or water or something like that, definitely go. Sit. Talk. Cleanse. Get in the water. Journal. Some of y'all need to release something that you've been holding in. Maybe you don't have anybody to talk to. Maybe some of the stuff that you want to say isn't things that you want to share with people so journal could be going by the water journal and write something there i feel like this is a release um and my my god kids with my um um but my god kids we're doing an exercise where we are literally journaling this whole month and then october 31st we're gonna burn it we're gonna put all our fears all our anxieties all the things that we struggle with the shadow stuff that we are struggling with and we're gonna we're gonna burn it we're gonna release it because some of us are holding on to stuff longer than what we need to rest some of y'all and it makes sense this is two card one card you've been battling you've been coming through a heavy energy maybe you're going to school maybe you're working two or three jobs maybe you are you know you've been pushing things through pushing against this opposition um and you feel like that you are trying to um overwork yourself maybe you don't have a choice you know you might be in that energy where you're working two or three jobs because you have to um but it is showing that some of y'all are not getting enough rest and your energy is really lagging and it could cause that sickness that we saw something hitting you really hard because if you're not getting enough sleep your immunity is not good which brings us to your final card build strength this could be physical strength this could be immunity strength this could be i, I feel like there's a transformation transformation with working out we saw that losing weight tightening up um mental strength and y'all should have that because y'all been through some shit you know mentally i think y'all okay you might have gone through some stuff where you're still like, shit, this is heavy. And the world is right now. But I feel like spirit is saying, get stronger. Whatever that means to you. If this is physical strength, lift weights. If this is mental strength, go to therapy. If this is spiritual strength, you know, find a godparent or a mentor or somebody that can help you with that. You know, talk to your ancestors. You know, there's definitely some type of transformation that's coming in. And I will say that once you put out the last fire, Looks like 2024 is going to be a hell of a lot better for you because I don't get that opposition. Maybe you learned how to maneuver it. Maybe you just learned how to fight. 
I'm not sure. But I tell you what, going into 2024, you're going to be a strong-ass mofo, Scorpio. Some of y'all have been through some things. Be careful of these people coming back from the past. Be careful of giving time and energy to people that are not worth it. You know, protect your protect your energy. Some of y'all are doing too much, been doing too much um, for other people, and it, it really is hindering you. Part of the obstacles is you're helping people that don't really even appreciate the help too. The energy is just, I want to drain you. I want to drain you. And it's keeping you stagnant. Time to break that energy. And you can. All right, Scorpio, I love y'all. Mwah.